Hello everyone, I'm Priya Chima, the secondary counsellor at St. Mark's School, and I'm here to talk about exam stress, which is a very real thing and which is something that we do need to pay attention to, especially during this particular period in our children's lives. Now, a couple of tips. First, the logistics. The logistics are quite simple. Exam stress does exist. So one of the first things we need to do is make sure that we understand our children's schedules. Let us be part of it. Let us know when their exams are, when each subject is going to be um, scheduled in, and help them to make a revision plan or a study plan. Don't micromanage the plan, let them manage the plan. However, make sure that you're aware of what their schedule is. Make sure that they have a study space, that it's a comfortable study space, and it's, a, it, it's their study space, which means no sort of trying to manage it or clean it up. Let them actually make it into a comfortable, familiar space that they can spend time in. It's only for a short while until they, are, they finish their exams. Make sure that they eat, move and sleep. That's really important for them so that they stay healthy during this period, so that they have the right amount of energy during this period. So, um, you know, any snacks should be healthy snacks. Let them have some restful sleep. Um, and let them schedule in some time for exercise, walks, anything that could help them get moving. Friends and connections are also important, um, so let them have that. Let them socialize a little bit. Allow them to connect with other people their own age who are also going through the exam period. And make sure that they schedule in free time during the revision schedule or planning so that you know that, you know, and you're also aware that this is when their free time is to relax. Finally, it's important for us as the adults in their lives to be flexible, to allow them to make changes if they need to in their schedule. So nothing is written in stone. A couple of things that are important to keep in mind in terms of their feelings and their mental health. Listening and talking is the foremost that I can tell you. Communication is key during this time. Acknowledge their feelings, acknowledge their worries. Those are real worries for them. Um, you know, it's sometimes we tend to sort of uh, let it slide and that's not, a, and that's not um, helpful for our teens and for our children because it's really important to let them know that their stress and anxieties are real and help them through it. So listen to them. Um, talk to them, find out what their triggers are, help them put relaxation techniques in place. There are a number of apps that we can find online, mindfulness, breathing apps. These kind of things do work if practiced and used. Encourage timeouts, which means allow them to de-stress, um, allow them to actually distract themselves every now and then for a few hours because, again, they need to be able to refresh their minds to be able to go back to the studying. And park any major changes or any major decisions that the family might need to make. Um, let them go through their exam period. Let them go through that pressure of, of studying and um, their own sort of schedules. And if changes or any sort of major decisions do need to be made by the family during this period, because, you know, of course, I understand life cannot be put on hold, schedule it in with them. Let them know that this is when the family is going to gather together to have that talk. Let them know that this is when this particular change is going to happen. So they're able to plan around it. And finally, keeping it real is so important. What does that mean? It means putting it all into perspective for ourselves as well as our children. Well, I hope these little tips help. And if you want any more information or would like to discuss anything further, I am available at the school at St. Mark's School. Thank you. Have a good day.